Good morning, students. In the last class, we have learnt about the difference between the living and non-living things. Now, in our surrounding, we have observed the plants and animals, right? So here we are going to see the difference between the plants and animals. Now let's see this. Here, the first difference between the plants and animals is the first thing is movement. Here, it, you, you can see the plant here. It is planted in one place, so it cannot move from place to place. But you can see the other picture that is an animal that can move freely without the help of any other. Uh, humans or any other animals the second one that is food here the plants can make their own food second the animals animals cannot make their own food it should always depend the animals or any other plants the third one is oxygen and carbon dioxide here the plants need carbon dioxide to make their own food but if you see the animals, the animals need oxygen to breathe. So here the gas exchange is different. The next one is sense organ. In this plants, you can observe the basic sense organs like touch. But if you see the animals, animals is highly sensible. So if you react or uh, it can easily react to the surroundings. So these are the major difference between the plants and animals. So let's do an experiment. Take two transparent jars. In first jar you can keep ant or caterpillar. In the second jar you can keep a growing sapling. Just find the difference. Observe the behavior like movement, feeding habit and body parts. There are some similarities between the plants and animals. They tend to change regularly and they grow. These are the major similarities between the plants and animals. These are all the difference between the plants and animals. To conclude, today we have learned the difference between the plants and animals. So let's do the experiment and see and observe the things. So see you all in the next video. Thank you.